Hey guys, it's me, Ty, back with another video, and today I'm very excited to show you another LEGO creation of mine. So here before me, I have a collection of four modular buildings that are all kind of combined together as one. I was inspired to do this by a picture that I saw off of Google Images. It was uh, a quite intriguing one, and I thought I would mix it up a little bit and create my own style. So without further ado, let's check each one of these modulars out. I'm very excited to show the whole entire collection itself to you guys, so let's get right into this. So the modular to the very right is a Venice-style apartment. I did do a separate video on this and if you'd like to you can definitely check that out but out of all the modulars shown here this one took me by far the longest amount of time to make and not to mention these are all 8x32 modulars you can see they're very narrow and that just gives it the personality that it has but there's some pretty good details the way I made the windows but the outside is definitely very bright and I just love the color scheme so the building to the left of the Venice style apartment is a little bit of a different theme this is a standard home that you'd probably see somewhere in the city this is a townhouse and to give it the character that it has I used plenty of dark red bricks and also the columns on the sides um, I used a snot brick technique for and also plenty of circular bricks to do so. The window on the top floor gives the building some personality as well so this is pretty standard just something that I would see where I personally live. Nothing very exciting to see about that but as we move to the left another house down or another apartment or building or modular we have something a little bit more exciting as a matter of fact way more exciting. This is a Japanese style modular or a Chinese style modular so while building this I kind of stick to the red and brown and a little bit of black and white color combination you know some yin and yang I did this really super cool technique using those clip pieces but I was just experimenting with some of my pieces and I came to making this and I thought why not include it in this build looking a little bit more up the building I made a traditional style window and the roof itself um, using plenty of cheese slopes it turned out pretty good I just like the outcome of that it just gives it a very traditional looking appearance and the building to the very far left is not my favorite it is definitely a remarkable one this is a Victorian house uh, this window especially bulges out from the rest of the building that kind of gives the Victorian house a lot of personality it's my first ever time making something from the vintage era as most of you know I'm more of a modern architect I'm not very much of a classical um, Renaissance person but it definitely goes great with the rest of these modulars and it just adds a great blend so hopefully you were able to just get a glimpse of all these modulars I did spend a full week working on this project so if you have any feedback on this Lego mock or if you have any feedback on future Lego creations I can do be sure to comment down and just let me know. If you're new to this channel, I highly advise you subscribe. I have lots of fun creations like this planned for the future. And in the meantime, that summarizes the video. So thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time and keep on building.